What's up guys, March 15th, we're down here at Greenfield again at uh, court. We're hearing a motion to dismiss the wiretapping charge. We're just focused on that one today. Uh, Damo did a lot of heavy lifting on this, uh, what I think is a bulletproof motion against our fellow new wiretapping charge. And uh, you know, you can never know what to expect in these places, but hopefully uh, the judge and the DA will have some reason and logic, cited a lot of law, and uh, Hopefully we'll get out of here with not having uh, five years of our lives hanging over our heads. Pretty confident, so we'll see what happens. I hear from you on this motion to dismiss who wants to go first. And, well, I mean, we're together, right? So can we, it doesn't matter? It doesn't matter. You can both be heard. One of you can be heard, the other. Or would you fill in when the, when the well, uh, well I, I want you to go one at a time so that um, I can understand whether if or not either of you have any different arguments uh, than the other also uh, I'm going to have a comfortable response so right, I mean essentially the I, I feel the motion speaks for itself it targets this one targets the uh, wiretapping charge specifically and um, I mean it plays out there's plenty of I mean if you want me to go through every single point that I highlighted I'll be more than happy to. I, I reviewed your motion. Okay uh, so, so I guess my question is it was what what uh, questions do the court or the state have I mean we have arguments of plain sight I can cite uh, officers statements and testimony in their documents where even a, prior to arrival on scene Adam Dodge was informed that there was video and audio recording going on there's case ruling throughout uh, the United States and some in Massachusetts that cite um, knowledge for public official is more than enough to satisfy the two-party consent. Um, there's Your argument is essentially under the statute it wasn't a secret recording. Absolutely not. Uh, that there was no secretive recording taking place at all. And like, like you just mentioned, um, in order for wiretapping to um, hold, it has to be in secret. I mean, the term in inception means to secretly hear, secretly record, and or aid another to secretly hear or record the contents of any wire or oral communication through the use of uh, intercepting device. Um, none of that was was happening that day, so I don't really understand how felony wiretapping can be. I mean, there's back, we have the Gwick case, Hyde, where a, a JSC judge ruled that has Hyde's uh, recording been in plain sight that this wouldn't apply. You know, and then we can go on to public officials. Well, I understand this hearing is for a motion to dismiss, so the appropriate standard under the Benedetto, I suppose, would be whether or not there's probable cause to believe there was a violation of the statute. So sure, but you're I'm arguing there wasn't. Absolutely. Okay. Do you wish to? Uh, yeah, I concur with everything. Uh, for, for the record, could you just identify who you are so the record's clear, our digital record? Sure. I'm Adam Miller. All right. And I'm Peter. Um, but yeah, I just I concur with what my colleague said, and again, there was no, uh, you know, I think all the statute and, and precedent and everything that that he already touched on, I think, uh, make our case pretty boilerplate, pretty clear cut and bulletproof. And in addition to that, there was no, you know, anything posted that said we couldn't record. We were, uh, when we explained our situation to a supervisor, uh, we were. Uh, told that we could record, and then uh, absent from all the reports, all the uh, reports for whatever reason was the fact that yes, we did leave the jail at one point and then came back, but that was because we were told we could film, and then we said, all right, we're going to go get the bail money and come back, and within that time, for whatever reason, they changed their mind. So I don't know if that's a conspiracy to be worth looking into for you know these the guys who filed reports. I mean, for some reason, that's omitted from all the reports that we were. We were said, yeah, we were told it wasn't an issue that we could film. So, I mean, statute, precedent, you know, just being reasonable people, you know, it was, uh, we had no reason to believe we, sh we shouldn't have been able to. I just like that. I did ask in the motion that if it would help in the decision of the ruling that there, I just got another tape given to me today that I haven't got to view, but I had gotten one from a discovery that showed us outside the entrance, which might help if you had a visual. Uh, peek at what I mean. I was holding a camera, a cell phone, and a camera around my neck, similar to the one here, and wearing a t shirt that has a picture of a police officer with a camera. I mean, there's nothing secret about that. It, it doesn't take a rocket science to figure out what's going on. But I think the, the police report bears that out. It does. But I mean, I didn't know if the visual would help. But I mean, there is no, I mean, it is said over and over four times in just this paragraph secretive. I mean, there's nothing secretive about that. I don't know the, the, 
from my understanding of secretive, you know, there's no secretive recordings going on here today, and this is pretty much the same thing. We're in a public building, same place, but we've got a gentleman recording over there, and I'm sure everyone in the courtroom didn't get consent for it, you know? <coughs> so, I mean, this is, a, this is an expectation of privacy. This is a citizen's right to gather information on public officials in which they pay for, and I mean, like I said, there's a numerous amounts of issues that we can cover. You know, it's all about time to be here. I mean, if we want to go through a lengthy trial, I mean, so be it. But I feel that there's precedence to dismiss this today. It's it's not about the trial. It's about the legal issue you presented. You have presented. So I'm going to hear from the Commonwealth now. Okay. If, if I could just add All right. Um, we were initially arrested for trespassing and then later charged with the felony wiretapping. But um, from what I understand, there's there was no power to arrest based on the on the uh, town bylaw at all. So uh, there's no power for them to arrest us for trespassing based on the town bylaw. So what I'm addressing here. today, what we're addressing today is your motion to dismiss on the wiretap statute, alleged wiretap statute. <coughs> so you want wish to be heard anymore on that? Um, I mean, I think again, I think it's a pretty open and shut case. So. Mr. Banks, they are, I would ask you to deny the motion for two reasons. <clears> the <throat> first of which are that the rules require that all basis for dismissal be conveyed on the first motion. We've already had one motion to dismiss, uh, and the statute indicates that they should have listed all defenses that at that time. This isn't a new defense, <coughs> they should have known about it, came aware of based on new evidence. Um, this is a contained simply in the police report argument. They knew about that argument at the time, they should have made it at that time. They dismissed for that reason. <clears throat> As to their actual motion, or I agree with their case law that in fact, if they're being recorded open and obviously, that's not a violation of the statute. If you read the police report, as he indicates, the charge came after they were arrested. It's because they later determined, the police later determined that in fact, there had been a phone in one of their pockets, which had an open communication line to someone in New Hampshire, recording that transmission later posted online. It's all indicated in the police report. That is the secret recording which took place, and that is a violation of the statute. As for probable cause purposes, I would suggest that does justify the burden on um, that point. And to put on one of the trials to when the cameras got turned off, when they found this other recording which had been posted online um, by a female and was like on her name, um, indicating that the two had been arrested and she goes to the states right in there that in fact um, they had a, a phone with the line going and that she continued to record the conversation and the transaction that they occurred. All right, so the yeah. government's position is there, there were two <coughs> separate. There's multiple recording. The video camera, I'm not, I mean, the state is in violation of the statute. As far as the video camera goes, though, Congress proceeding on the theory that the phone, um, which would be listed as an interception device, being transmitted to somebody for uh, to be recorded, was in violation. And the phone was concealed? Was concealed in the pocket. Your Honor. Okay. Let me, let me have uh, Mr. Banks finish that. Okay. Appreciate right. it. I'm essentially finished on that. That would be the comments argument that based on a, an object which is transmitting a recording and in fact being recorded in secret is a violation of the statute, even if it is in public. Uh, the court's certainly not going to deny the uh, defendant's motion for the, on the first grounds. So, in, in so far as uh, that is not going to happen, does the Commonwealth wish to file a memorandum of law in connection with the second point? No, yeah, I'm just asking you to review the police report. I, like I said, I essentially would agree with their memorandum of law to apply to the video cameras. Um, but the probable cause should have been issued based on the phone, which is what uh, Sergeant Dodge applied for probable cause for the wiretap exception based on the phone and the later discovery reporting of that conversation on the Wednesday. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. And uh, you wish to be heard further? I do. Um, first of all, uh, you Mr. Mueller. Yes. The district attorney is like testifying to things he doesn't know as fact. Again, if we could view the video that I requested to be videotaped or to be presented today, um, it'll show that the phone is actually in my hand. It's not secret to be recording at all. Um, that's my first thing, so it's in plain sight. We can prove that today if we, if we can. And second is he's just admitted in his own words that we didn't record anything to the web. I was in jail, so therefore the wrong people are standing here if there was an offense made by some other person. So I don't know how either one of those points against the dismissal of holding any water. Well, the issue is probable cause on the violation. And uh, think the Commonwealth's entitled to make their case if they can establish at this, this juncture that there's probable cause for the charge to exist. And the Commonwealth <coughs> will make the point. But I'm saying there's probable causes for that, though. The recording, the cell phone was in secret, which I can prove it wasn't, if we just get a TV and a DVD player in here. 
And also, his, his second point on why the recording is because it was published online without the consent of Todd M. Dodge, which that accusation is in toward, he can't, he can't have any proof that I put that online because the time when it was online, I was in a Greenfield County jail, you know, freezing. So I don't know how that could be. I mean, not to mention, he's saying that police have the same privacy, but if you would refer to the United States First uh, District Court of uh, Eastern Michigan, they have ruled that officers don't share the same First Amendment, or excuse me, public officials in general don't share the same First Amendment protections as other people do, as other people, private citizens, um, when in public spaces, especially when in conducting their duties. So, well, that may be true, but there is case law on the secret recording of a police officer interacting with a citizen. There's case law in this state. So, uh, I will tell you that I will take the matter under advisement and reread. Police report. And, uh, <coughs> okay. I would just like to say as well. The statute covers transmitting. Not right. Necessarily That's right. I, I understand. I mean, really, the, the argument here is uh, uh, based on the, the Benedetto. Well, about. Will you be able to view the video <coughs> and see that the cell phone was in plain sight? Well, the issue is is uh, whether or not that would be more appropriately brought up at the trial. This, this particular issue is decided based on what the police alleges their information for the, for the charges. So, so in other words, I can't, there's, we won't look at average, we won't look at clear fact instead of a biased police report? On this motion, we're going to look at what evidence the Commonwealth provided to bring the charge. This, well, that they provided me that evidence, I mean, the DVDs were provided me as discovery. Is that the same amount of evidence you're speaking of? It's, it's really different evidence. But it's not uh, being offered today, and I don't know what it is. Uh, at this point, the decisions under De Benedetto is confined to what information the police provided uh, as a basis for their charges initially. Uh, so why are we both being charged with wiretapping if only one person can hold a cell phone? I will say this, I don't know. My well, do you have the power to drop charges against one of us? At this point, I'm going to take the matter under advisement and make a decision. Okay. okay. Alright guys, well thank you for you. are gonna put the key quarter in the way they can. All we want to do is bail our friend and leave and we just you know we don't feel comfortable being in these places. All these cameras here. Yeah, what right do you guys have to tell us we can't film people who ostensibly work for us and take their salary from other people? The document that says I can't. Can you show me one that says you can? That, no, the burden of the, the burden. Right now, you are. This is right ridiculous. Now there is, one. Who's the victim? is this a police state where we can't film the people who work for us? Public is it, are you public serious? Isn't a person that I can face in court. Do you have any thoughts about idea. that? You like yeah. to share? All right, you guys gotta go. You guys work okay. for us, okay. and we can't. Yeah.